Good morning! So in the last episode we took a look at Lorraine and uh, previously we did the meet and greet with all the 24 new sims in town but there are still a few sims that need some introduction so let's jump right in! So here we have Jason Hobson He's going to run the local newspaper But right now, he's just a blog writer. The mayor has brought him here to write about the town and share all the local happenings. And especially, she is hoping to get some extra attention from the neighboring towns for all the festivals that are going to be held here. She wants to have as much visitors as possible to show how successful her events are. He has set up his desk and laptop outside, where he's going to write his first article, articles about this town. Because from here he has a really nice view of the surrounding buildings. And he can really see if something interesting is happening. Hmm. And it's still summer, hmm. so he can still do this right now. Once fall starts in a few days, he's going to have to set up an office inside. And maybe even hire a decorator to furnish this house. Because he, uh, he bought it in a hurry. And he really didn't really have time to, uh, to worry about furnishings. So right now, it doesn't really have much. <laughs> While riding in the early morning, he noticed a woman across the road who seems to work at a community center. She looks a lot younger than him, but she's definitely caught his attention. Hmm. He hadn't spoken to her yet at the meeting greet. But he sure is curious about her now, and he wants to become friends, and get to know her better. He might even stop by the community center later today. They were actually supposed to move to Cherry Blossom Springs together with his wife and Ricky's mother Sarah. But while making the plans for their future, Sarah didn't want to leave her job behind. And Jason was completely devastated that she chose her work over being with her family. He realized that she was much more money-driven and self-centered than when they first fell in love. And uh, her job and their lifestyle had really changed her. So they had a huge argument over this, which lasted for several weeks, during which Ricky got more and more upset. And eventually, Jason decided that he wanted a divorce and a fresh start. Jason hopes that now that they live here, he can find a way to bond with his son. You can see that Ricky is a bit troubled and things are bothering him, but he just can't seem to really reach him. He's desperately searching for ways to connect with his son, and he decides that from now on, they will always have lunch together, no matter what happens during the day. Ricky never had that strong of a bond with either of his parents. But still his dad is trying really hard to be a good father. <laughs> and prepare him for life. But Ricky does miss having his mom around. He knows that she's in the city. And that he can always go there. But still, they're not living in the same house anymore. 
He's probably gonna have to start searching for a job now that he turned 15. He's starting to get more and more troubles, but he doesn't really have anyone to talk about with him. He just bottles it up inside, and who knows what his outlet is going to be. Let's hope he'll find someone to talk to in this town. Someone to connect to. And Jason still really keeps hoping that he will find something that they have in common and that they can share. For the personalities, Jason has a uh, skill in creativity, of course, because he uh, studied literature and he has a few charisma points. He is a an Aries. Uh, he's very outgoing and active, not very playful and uh, not very very nice. <laughs> His interests are mainly politics, money and culture, and the work. He is very interested in work, even though he doesn't want to let uh, this work control his life, like his ex-wife does, he, uh, he is interested in it. Uh, his, hobbies, uh, his hobby is games, his favorite hobby. And his attractions are... nope. Wrong guy. <laughs> they both have <laughs> games as a hobby. Uh, and Jason's attractions are redheads uh, with mechanical skills. <laughs> and his turn offs mechanthropy. <laughs> now Ricky, he likes plants. <laughs> Uh, and uh, Sims with a creativity skill. Now he hasn't met Lizzie yet, she's the other teenager in town. Uh, and his attractions are completely random, but uh, coincidentally this is exactly Lizzie. Lizzie has blonde hair with a very high creative skill, so uh, they, they, they could possibly be a really cute couple. Um, I don't know what Lizzie's attractions are, so I don't know if it's uh, like a mutual thing. <laughs> so Ricky has no skills. He's going to go uh, to school in Cherry Blossom Springs. Um, I have not built uh, a high school yet, but I will in the future. For now, we just have an elementary school, and he's going to uh, to an off the the town lot uh, when he goes to school but he will go to, sc to school in this town in the future in an integrated uh, way um, he is um, a Gemini so he's very outgoing and active and just like his father not very playful and not too nice um, his interests are and I manipulated this a little bit for the story but his uh, his interests are completely opposite to his uh, his father's except for I think entertainment they share a mutual uh, interest in entertainment and also their hobby so they don't know that yet but they might find each other <laughs> in uh, in their favorite hobby and his attraction Jay plant and created. Today is not going to be a very exciting day for these two guys. They just moved in. Uh, tonight is the meet and greet. Jason is going to go there. Uh, Ricky is not. And uh, after that, they're just going to go to bed. And ah, uh, mm. That's it. Because tomorrow is going to be brand new day, in a brand new house, in their brand new town.
So today is the first day of their actual new lives in Cherry Blossom Springs. And Jason has to take it slow because he came down with a mild case of the flu. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he discovered some. Oh, there's thunder. <laughs> Some uh, first of fall uh, thunders. Uh, he discovered some cockroaches in his house and he might have to call the exterminator later today. But we will have to see about that. Uh, yeah, so I locked in two of his ones. He is a popularity sim, so uh, he wants to have a party. And uh, he actually rolled for this one to have a baby after he got divorced. Uh, so I locked that in because I thought it would be an interesting approach to uh, to start this story. Uh, and that was even before he met Lorraine, so I didn't know he was going to fall for her uh, yet. Um, and then his other love interest, at least when it's up to me, is uh, Valentina Nightingale. He, uh, he wants to be friends with her too. And... Uh, I would really like them to become a couple because I think they would be so cute together. But, you know, it's up to him. He, uh, he really seems to like Lorraine right now, so let's see what happens. Um, yeah, he is going to uh, write another article and then uh, go to work. And uh, Ricky, he's going to have his first day in school today. So that should be interesting. He might even meet Lizzie today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hope you feel better. <laughs> so he had the meet and greet yesterday, and he met a lot of people. He actually has two bolts with a few people, a few women, including Lorraine. And uh, let's see, his memories, here are the cockroaches. Um, yeah, so here is the memory of, uh, of him getting divorced from Sarah. Sarah is still in the neighborhood, but I'm not sure what to do with her. Uh, we'll have to think about that. And here are all the people that he met. So we've got uh, Sophie, the librarian, Jonathan, who owns the clothing store, Christoph, Reginald, the priest, Stanley, and of course Valentina, Natasha. Melissa, Adriana, the mayor, and uh, Lorraine. Oh, he did meet Lizzie, Valentina's daughter, and Kate. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, send him upstairs and let him have uh, a bubble bath. Maybe that will make him feel better. And he can, uh, can write another article before he goes to work. And he could write about something he's actually good at already, creativity, stories. Let's let him write a story. Now Ricky, he just has one simple bond and that is to make a friend in this town. <laughs> so he might actually uh, meet someone today, who knows. He got, he's got memories of his parents breaking up. And he doesn't really have a very good relationship with anyone. Not with his father, not with his mother. And uh, he's only met three other people in town. He did, however, I saw him talking when I was playing the community center. I saw him talking to Jessica and they really seem to get along. So maybe she is going to be the friend that he so desperately needs to talk about all his troubles. Who knows? Who knows? Jason does have one problem right now, apart from coming down with the flu. It seems that he already has to break his promise to his son about having lunch together every day. Cool. Yeah. His workday starts at 1, and Ricky also doesn't come home from school until 1. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, he has to make a decision whether to break his promise to his son, or to be late for his first day of work. And I 
think I know what he's going to decide. So here he is, ready with his lunch, just as Ricky comes home from school. Now, he didn't do that that well in school. He has a C+. Plus. Uh, let's just leave that here and go have lunch with your father. <laughs> so, he uh, really needs some help with his homework right now. So, after a quick talk to his son, Jason is going to run to work. And hopefully, he will get fired right away. Yes, <laughs> He could just have called in sick, but he really wanted to make his first day at his, at his new job a success. So he's going to try. After his father went to work, Ricky cleaned up a little bit, played some computer games, took a shower, and then gathered all his courage to start doing his homework. So when Jason comes home from work, he finds his, his son struggling with his homework. And he really wants to help him. But instead, when his father comes in, Ricky is just too embarrassed that he can't seem to get it done. And he goes to bed without wanting to talk about it. Leaving his father again, wondering how he's ever going to be able to connect with his son. <laughs> 